Using 3D printers to make prototypes is one of the worst business models that you can possibly have. So actually, this is really tough for people to take down because 3D printers were invented to make prototypes. Back in 1985, when the very first machines were actually created, they were designed to make prototypes, to give you a real representation of a product in the physical world. But there's a problem with this as a business. When you're working within a business, you want long-term revenue growth and sustainability. Uh, the very best way of getting this is to get recurring revenue. The very fundamental application of this is subscriptions. Netflix gets eight or 10 or 12 bucks from you every single month. So it's a great sort of system there because they know how much money they're going to make. Prototyping does not have that. Manufacturing doesn't have that in general, but prototyping really doesn't have it. If you are a manufacturer, you will have a batch of clients who are probably fairly reliable, who come to you and order a million taco shells from you a year or a thousand brackets from you every month or some part or piece or otherwise that you need to make for them that they are go then going to put into their device. So they're semi-reliable. Manufacturing is tougher than something like Netflix where a subscription can work, but it is consistent because people will always need new cars and new phones and new stuff for Christmas. So manufacturing is fine, but prototyping is horrible. The reason prototyping is horrible is because it is not established companies and it is most definitely not recurring. Prototyping, you're generally working with early projects and early startups. Uh, startups and products fail about nine out of 10 times. So for each one of the nine or 10 customers that you bring in, one of them might actually come back to you a second time to buy more stuff from you. If it's a corporate partner, that's very likely because once they kill one project, they'll move on to another one and they like you, so they'll work with you. So that's how prototyping can work. But if you're an independent service, you're gonna have random people and random startups wandering through the door who are gonna pay you today and then disappear tomorrow. So there's no reliability in that income. The other part is the fact that since there's such a high attrition rate, you can never rely on them into the future for any sort of recurring revenue. So prototyping is just a horrible, horrible business. So even though 3D printing moves that direction all the time, it is the worst possible business model to try to create a company around. Now here at Slant 3D, we have done it, we do it. But very often we restrict it to organizations that are gonna be moving into a mass production setting. They're already set and ready to go into mass production and the prototypes are just for verification part of the product and they're not really exploratory. We don't generally accept prototypes that are just through the door to try this thing because we got the patent finally because it just isn't reliable. We cannot help 10 clients and only have one of them actually become a long-term relationship. And that is what you're committing to when you're committing to a prototyping business model. Comment down below if you think uh, can think of other business models that work really well in 3D printing that are better than prototyping. And please subscribe to the channel, guys. It helps out a lot and lets you see the rest of our videos. Let us know if there's anything else you wanna talk about and have a great day, everybody.